Atmospheric pressure chemical ionization (APCI) is an ionization method used in mass spectrometry which utilizes gas phase ion molecule reactions at atmospheric pressure (105 pascals), commonly coupled with high performance liquid chromatography (HPLC). APCI is a soft ionization method similar to chemical ionization where primary ions are produced on a solvent spray. The main usage of APCI is for polar and relatively less polar thermally stable compounds with molecular weight less than 1,500 daltons. The application of APCI with HPLC has gained a large popularity in trace analysis detection such as steroids, pesticides and also in pharmacology for drug metabolites. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Instrument structure. A typical APCI usually consists of three main parts, a nebulizer probe which can be heated to 350 to 500 degrees Celsius, an ionization region with a corona discharge needle, and an ion transfer region under intermediate pressure. The analyte in solution is introduced from a direct inlet probe or a liquid chromatography LC alluit into a pneumatic nebulizer with a flow rate 0.2 to 2.0 ml per minute. In the heated nebulizer, the analyte coaxially flows with nebulizer N2 gas to produce a mist of fine droplets. By the combination effects of heat and gas flow, the emerged mist is converted into a gas stream. Once the gas stream arrives in the ionization region under atmospheric pressure, molecules are ionized at corona discharge which is 2 to 3 kV potential different to the exit counter electrode. Sample ions then pass through a small orifice skimmer into the ion transfer region. Ions may be transported through additional skimmer or ion focusing lenses into a mass analyzer for subsequent mass analysis. <laughs> <laughs> Ionization mechanism Ionization in the gas phase by APCI follows the sequences, sample in solution, sample vapor, and sample ions. The effluent from the HPLC is evaporated completely. The mixture of solvent and sample vapor is then ionized by ion molecule reaction. The ionization can either be carried out in positive or negative ionization mode. In the positive mode, the relative proton affinities of the reactant ions and the gaseous analyte molecules allow either proton transfer or adduction of reactant gas ions to produce the ions M plus H plus of the molecular species. In the negative mode, M minus H minus ions are produced by either proton abstraction, or M plus X minus ions are produced by anion attachment. Most work on the APCIMS analysis has been in positive mode. In the positive mode, when the discharge current of corona discharge is 1 to 5 microamperes on the nebulized solvent, N2 gas molecules are excited and ionized, which produce N4 plus asterisk. The evaporated mobile phase of LC acts as the ionization gas and reactant ions. If water is the only solvent in the evaporated mobile phase, the excited nitrogen molecular ions N4 plus asterisk would react with H2O molecules to produce water cluster ions H plus H2O N. Then, analyte molecules M are protonated by the water cluster ions. Finally, the ionization products MH plus H2O M transfer out from the atmospheric pressure ion source. Declustering removal of water molecules from the protonated analyte molecule of MH plus H2O M takes place at the high vacuum of the mass analyzer. The analyte molecule ions detected by MS are M plus H plus. The chemical reactions of ionization process are shown below. Primary and secondary reagent ion formation in a nitrogen atmosphere in the presence of water. N2 plus En2 plus plus 2N2 plus asterisk plus 2N2 N4 plus asterisk plus N2 N4 plus plus H2O H2O plus plus 2N2 H2O plus plus H2O H3O plus plus O H3O plus plus H2O plus N2 H plus H2O 2 plus N2 H plus H2O N1 plus H2O plus N2 H plus H2O N plus N2 ionization of product ions 
H plus H two O N plus M M H plus H two O M plus N M H two odd clustering in the high vacuum of the mass analyzer M H plus H two O M M H plus plus M H two O I F the mobile phase contains solvents with a higher proton affinity than water. Proton transfer reactions take place that lead to protonated the solvent with higher proton affinity. For example, when methanol solvent is present, the cluster solvent ions would be CH3OH2 plus H2O and CH3OH M. Fragmentation does not normally occur inside the APCI source. If a fragment ion of a sample is observed, thermal degradation has taken place by the heated nebulizer interface, followed by the ionization of the decomposition products. In a major distinction from chemical ionization, the electrons needed for the primary ionization are not produced by a heated filament, as a heated filament cannot be used under atmospheric pressure conditions. Instead, the ionization must occur using either corona discharges or beta particle emitters, which are both electron sources capable of handling the presence of corrosive or oxidizing gases. History The first atmospheric pressure ionization source was developed by Horning, Carroll and their co-works in the 1970s at the Baylor College of Medicine Houston, TX. Initially, 63 Ni foil was used as a source of electrons to perform ionization. Latterly in 1975, corona discharge electrode was developed, which had a larger dynamic response range. APCI with the corona discharge electrode became the model for modern commercially available APCI interfaces. APCI was applied to GC per Mega Siemens and LC per Mega Siemens also by Horning's group in 1975. Analyte in LC Aluit was vaporized and ionized in a heated block. High sensitivity and simple mass spectra were obtained through this application. In the later decades, the coupling of APCI with LC per Mega Siemens became famous and caught a lot attention. The introduction of APCI and LCMS had expanded dramatically the role of mass spectrometry in the pharmaceutical industry in the area of drug development. The sensitivity of APCI combined with the sensitivity and specificity of LC per Mega Siemens and liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry LC Mega Siemens per Mega Siemens makes it the method of choice for the quantification of drugs and drug metabolites. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Advantages Ionization of the substrate is very efficient as it occurs at atmospheric pressure, and thus has a high collision frequency. Additionally, APCI considerably reduces the thermal decomposition of the analyte because of the rapid dissolvation and vaporization of the droplets in the initial stages of the ionization. This combination of factors most typically results in the production of ions of the molecular species with fewer fragmentations than many other ionization methods, making it a soft ionization method. Another advantage to using APCI over other ionization methods is that it allows for the high flow rates typical of standard bore HPLC 0.2 to 2.0 milliliters per minute to be used directly, often without diverting the larger fraction of volume to waste. Additionally, APCI can often be performed in a modified ESI source. The ionization occurs in the gas phase, unlike ESI, where the ionization occurs in the liquid phase. A potential advantage of APCI is that it is possible to use a nonpolar solvent as a mobile phase solution, instead of a polar solvent, because the solvent and molecules of interest are converted to a gaseous state before reaching the corona discharge needle. Because of APCI involves a gas phase chemistry, there is no need to use special conditions such as solvents, conductivity, pH for LC. APCI appeared to be more versatile LC per Mega Siemens interface and more compatible with reversed phase LC than ESI. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Application APCI is sweet for thermal stable samples with low to medium less than 1500 daltons molecular weight and medium to high polarity. 
The application area of APCI is the analysis of drugs, nonpolar lipids, natural compounds, pesticides and various organic compounds, but limited to the analysis of biopolymers, organometallics, ionic compounds and other labile analytes. Topic. See also Chemical ionization Corona discharge Electrospray ionization <laughs>